The program has been running for three years, or, and um, it basically tries to understand how the European economy works and how European po politics influences what is going on in the European economy, or better, the European economies. So take the Eurozone crisis. Clearly, there's something rather dr dramatic going on there at the moment in the way, you know, we're, we're, we're re recording this in March 2015. You have Greece and Germany go going at each other's throat. Um, we clearly pretty dramatic or potentially pretty dr dramatic con consequences for the euro and therefore for the continent as a whole. This degree would give you as a student the tools to try to, to understand what is going on in the eurozone um, and in which way it is influenced not only by e economic constraints but also by po political action. Our, our students have uh, broadly speaking two two very different types of background. One is what I would call a public policy oriented kind of background. That's about half of the students, usually somewhere in the, in the, in the Brussels sphere, you know, the satellites around the, the commission, um, NGOs of that sort. And what these students get out of the course, it seems to me, is a much more grounded understanding of, a, to, to some extent, what they do themselves. Right? I mean, they are operating on this scene that is called the EU, but don't necessarily understand particularly well what is going on there because there are, as, as it were, me mechanisms that we are much better able to, to, to make sense of on the outside than they are able to, to do on the inside. And the other half are from the, from the private sector, primarily the, fi the financial sector. Um, many of those students, I think, have understood over the last, whatever, five, six years, that the tools they have to operate well in the financial sector are not necessarily enough to understand why it is that this financial crisis of the 2007-8 uh, type trans transformed itself into a sovereign debt crisis for the EU and thereby puts sort of a, a big question mark over the entire pro project of European integration. Um, and so what I'd like to think is that these students from the financial sector, uh, who, who, who come from the financial sector, that those, those students get a lot of new ideas about what it is that is going on in the European economy that might have an influence on the kind of job that they're doing in the banks or in the um, inv investment funds where, the, where they work. What's interesting is that since these backgrounds are so, so, so different, they also complement each other extremely well. And one of the, you know, to some degree un unplanned, but nonetheless very important um, attributes of this course is that students learn a lot from each other across these different areas as much as they would do in the interaction with the teachers.